Passports, boys. Passports. That looks like a passport. That's a passport. That's a passport. We gotta check into it. Oh, there you go. It's upside down. <laughs> Good morning guys, we have a huge travel day today. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. So first we have an hour and 20 minute drive-ish. Our destination is 28 hours away. We are here in beautiful Toronto at the Pearson Airport. Two hours into our travel so far. <laughs> There's three. Flying with China Eastern Airlines today, all the way to Ho Chi Minh City, and we got these flights for $850 round trip. I'm already a huge fan of China Eastern Airlines. They let me bring on my big 65 liter hiking backpack and another backpack as a carry-on. So I got two carry-on bags, no charge. Oh, I'm just calling my girlfriend. Rocket. Oh, you should have put live now on. I can't do that. Are you going to eat? Closer. So uh, our flight is going to be a big plane, a very big plane. I am row 63. 63 rows. And that's probably not even the back. So here's a head turner. One of our friends have never ever been on a plane before. And today is a day he goes on his first 15 hour flight. Couldn't be more excited. I just got robbed. $14 for this thing. 15 hour flight coming. Better get the stretches in, eh? Excuse me. It's mayhem. There's like a hundred, a thousand people going on this flight. Okay. Dude, that plane is huge. Whee! How's your first ever takeoff experience? Not too bad. <laughs> I can see one of my workstations. I'm trying to stay positive, but uh, we have a 15 hour flight ahead of us and we're missing one of our friends. We get all the way to the gate, just about to board the plane, and Drake, his actual name on his passport is Drake Ub, and on his ticket, it just said Drake. So because of two letters, OB at the end of his name, they didn't let him on the flight. We'll have to figure out how to get him to Vietnam tomorrow, but like, it's just so disappointing. There's a bunch of empty seats on this plane. He was right there, ready to go, with everything he needed, and they just didn't let him on. It'll be exciting when he finally gets gets reunited with us. A few minutes into the flight here, and this is officially the worst airline in the entire world. A flight attendant just told Ben as he's watching a movie on his phone that phones are forbidden and he has to turn it off. Like, it's 2017. Guess we're stuck with these movies. Update uh, about three <laughs> minutes later. Uh, the flight attendant just came around and made us shut our freaking window. It is uh, 3.58 in the afternoon right now. Can't look out the window though. <laughs> this flight's great, 15 hours. Chicken, rice, beans, shrimp and corn, mangoes. Well, how, what would everyone think of their meals? Yeah, I thought the chicken rice was very alright, and by very alright, I mean it wasn't good at all, but it also wasn't <laughs> bad. That's good. I wanted it. Yeah, I know you guys can't see me right now, but oh my we're God. flying over Nunavut, and the northern lights oh are unreal outside. Seven hours into this flight, I have watched three movies, ate lots of candy, but uh, still hanging in there. 
one thing I like about this flight is they're continuously bringing water by, which is nice, not a lot of flights do that. Thank you. 3.10 in the morning, Toronto time. Here's that. Thank you. Or 4 o'clock p.m. Shanghai time. Two hours out from landing. This flight hasn't been bad at all, I just had a nice sleep. We are here, and Drake is still here. Welcome to Shanghai. Something else crappy I forgot to mention about this flight is uh, it advertises free Wi-Fi, and you can't use your phone, so you can't use it. And I even took out my phone to try to use it a few times and it doesn't work. Welcome to Shanghai for your day. Oh hey Trav, how was your last 15 hours? Sucked. Hey. I just sit beside smelly people. Where did, is Drake still on the plane? <laughs> Where's Drake? Oh god damn. It's not funny guys. <laughs> Wait, were we here for four hours? Mom, I just wanted to tell you, uh, you will not be getting a text from me because they took both of my chargers. They didn't like that Travis's battery chargers, little portable chargers, didn't say how much power they hold, so they took them. All right, so we heard from Drake. My mistake of booking his flights and not writing OB on the end of his name cost $2,700. So um, he had to rebook with Air Canada. So that means China Eastern Airlines did not help him out at all and totally screwed him out of his money. It's a lot of money, costly mistake, my bad. So uh, I'm here at the airport in Shanghai and I'm quite thirsty. Um, our options for water are warm, warm, and hot. 34 degrees Celsius. Mmm, mm, nice and warm. Now a four hour flight to Ho Chi Minh City and no TVs. Next stop, Vietnam. Cell phones, even in airplane mode, are prohibited for the entire flight. What am I gonna do? Like, what do I do? So we're just gonna sit here and uh, stare right there at the front of our seat. Got some bread things and whatever this is, some kind of juice. It's pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hu Chi Minh for your safety. Good morning. Welcome to Vietnam. Where? Where oh, that's me. Uh, I'm gonna go stairs. I'll meet you guys up there, eh? I'll meet you guys up there. <laughs> nice. Oh, the shower is the toilet. <laughs> There's only two beds? It's supposed to be three. It's weird that this hotel room is so crappy because like the reviews are good and everything looked good and it's more expensive than hostels. But I think we were, we would have been better off staying in a hostel with a bunch of other young people. Yeah. Oh well, we got two nights here. It's uh, 100 bucks a night split between five of us if Drake was here. It's now 2.11 in the morning this time. 28 and a half hours since we left Travis's house. 28 and a half hours, and now we are back in the hotel room. Good night, guys. Make sure you tune in. We got lots more coming. Peace.